So let's role play a little bit, if you don't mind. So, you know, I'm, I'm Joey, and I go down to the, the local gastroenterology clinic, and I tell him that I saw this guy named Dr. Justin on the internet, and he told me that, you know, Blasto or Crypto or Giardia may be causing my thyroid issues, and the gastro doctor says, no, you live in America, you know, not going to happen. What do you say to that guy? Well, that's kind of the, the big thinking with a lot of conventional doctors is, hey, these parasite infections only happen in third world countries. And so, and, and it's a big deal in third world countries. It's like one of the number top five causes of death in third world countries, partly because you get amoebic dysentery, massive diarrhea, electrolyte depletion, cardiac arrest, or some kind of hyponatremia symptom because you have massive diarrhea. Now here, you go to an ER, they put you on an IV, they flood you with antibiotics, and more than likely you're going to be fine, right? You may have side effects later. That's a whole different podcast, um, but you'll be fine. The problem is we kind of look at parasite infections having this acute symptomology that results from the infection. And a lot of times that may not be the case. You may be in this kind of functional asymptomatic place where you don't have overt diarrhea, you don't have overt constipation. You know, you, you may have some, but not a ton. And then a lot of times it's just enough where they kind of throw the IBS diagnosis at you. They may run a scope, they may not see anything. They may run a stool test, not using the best technology. So they may miss whatever's there. Now, if you have a serious infection, their technology, you know, basic stool antigen looking under a microscope, they'll probably catch it. But if it's, there's not a lot of bolus of that parasitic material, they may miss it. And that's where some of the DNA technology may be a little bit better for picking up parasites. So this is why they, they may miss it. Number one, number two, you may have kind of these subclinical symptoms that may get lumped into the category of IBS, which is a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning they've ruled out Crohn's, ulcerative colitis, right? They've ruled out bowel impaction, acid reflux, all these other inflammatory issues, ulcers, right? And now, okay, all the serious stuff is ruled out. So they just say, okay, we're going to just call it IBS. And then they're going to just give you some medications to control whatever symptoms you have going on, whether it's antispasmodics, acid blockers, whether it's... um constipation medi medica uh, medication like laxatives or bloating medications, et cetera, gas X. That's all they're going to do after that. And we know with functional medicine world, a lot of parasite infections can actually cause energy and mood issues. And so this is totally over their heads in conventional medicine world, because now they're used to connecting gut infection to gut symptoms. It's like an A, it's like a one-to-one -one relationship, right? Now you start going three-dimensional here when you start talking about gut infections exacerbating your thyroid, causing an autoimmune attack. And now you have anxiety and heart palpitations and, and fatigue and depression all throughout the day. Now what? And then now if those symptoms happen, you're more than likely going to be prescribed a antidepressant or a medication to treat those symptoms. So you kind of get in this really big um, cascade of symptoms that don't quite match up with the conventional mindset.